Flag making has never been so much easier. Let me show you why. What's going on guys, Edgar with AE Timber and Pine. If you guys are a brand new CNC user, one of the most popular projects that you are able to make on your CNC is a American flag. Let me show you now how to set it up in Carbide Create and just show you some video clips on me making one. All right guys, so jumping into Carbide Create, the very first thing that you're gonna wanna do is come to the setup option and enter the dimensions of the flag, actual, your actual physical flag. What is it that you have cut out? My actual material is cut to 18.1875 inches wide by nine and a half inches tall. So I have to enter that here and then I click OK. Once I click OK, the grid is the representation of my actual material, my physical material. Once I have my grid set up to be the actual representation of my physical material, I have to import my SVG file, my American flag SVG file. So go ahead and bring that in. Once you bring it in, you have to resize it. So go ahead and select everything and then go ahead and click on resize or scale. By selecting scale, you can then fit this to fit within the grid. So I'm gonna undo that, all that, because I already have it sized to the flag or to the material. My preference when I set everything up is to have my grid spacing at half an inch. When resizing the flag, I like to have my very top row of stars be right underneath or right at this uh, first block. So once I have my stars where I want them, it aligns everything else just like that. So let's go ahead and jump into the toolpath now. I like to set up my toolpaths in groups. The first group would be the, the stars. The second group would be the stripes. And we're gonna start off with the stripes. So let's keep the stripes selected and not select the stars, just the stripes only. Let's go ahead and click on toolpaths. Let's click on advanced V carve. We'll use current selection. We're going to enable the pocket tool. We're going to keep our 201 end mill. I'm not an expert on plunge and feed rate. I haven't tackled that yet, but I like 80, 90 here. I'm gonna keep the depth per pass the same, 18,000 18, RPM, click okay. We're now going to edit the 60 degree V bit. I like using the 60 degree V bit. We're gonna keep this at 80, 90 as well, 18,000 RPM, and the depth per pass is 0.1. The max depth that I'm going to start off with is 0 0.02. Let's go ahead and take a look at that simulation. Looking at the simulation, it looks really good. We're gonna go ahead and save the toolpath now and let's go ahead and send it off to the machine. Once the stripes are carved, I now am able to see the border of my union. I then use painter's tape to keep blue stain from getting into the red stripes or red stain into the union. When I stain the stripes red, you don't need to be perfect. It's okay if stain gets in the white stripes because we'll run another advanced V-carve toolpath on the stripes slightly deeper to get rid of any of the stain that is left over. Once the red stripes are stained, I like to go over the whole flag with the torch just to help dry the stain a little bit faster. All right, so now we're back in Carbide Create. The next thing that I wanna do is go back to toolpaths. I'm going to just select this and edit this and then we're going to update this max depth to 0 0.05 and once we select 0 0.05 we'll save the toolpath again and then just run it again we're not changing our x y or z zeros everything stays the same just rerun the exact same toolpath and it will just carve slightly deeper removing any of the unwanted stain and torching so let's go ahead and take a look at the video. Hey guys, if you have any questions on Carbide Create, Carbide Motion, or want to see any specific projects, let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. I'm using an upcut end mill and you can see some fraying. Thankfully, the 60 degree V bit cleans it up well. My recommendation though is to use a downcut end mill to avoid any fraying. So now with the stripes completed, let's go ahead and jump into the stars. Go ahead and deselect the stripes, select the stars. We're gonna come back to toolpaths. We can just keep this here, delete it or disable it. And now we're gonna select V carve. We're gonna select, use current selection. We're gonna edit the 60 degree V bit. So our plunge rate is gonna be 80, 90, RPM 18,000. Depth per pass is 0.1. Our max, our max depth is going to be 
stock bottom 0.75 and let's go ahead and click OK. Let's take a look at that simulation. Let me get some good looking stars. So let's go ahead and send that off to the machine and let's take a look at the video. Once the stripes are completed, it's time to carve the union. I always reset my Z axis before carving the stars. This helps reduce the possibility of getting curved stars because the union may be higher or lower than the area you originally zeroed your Z axis. Once the stars are carved, you can torch the flag again or leave as is. I like to add one to two coats of water-based polyurethane once it's all done. Here's the final product. What do you guys think?